Cisco's vision regarding the use of networking technology and the internet to foster increased collaboration? So Cisco's got a very big vision, um, both in the use of social media, um, as well as all the technologies and tools that are empowered by the network. You know, when you think about WebEx and software as a service, you think about um, telepresence, uh, just as what we have behind us here, and other video technologies, we truly do believe that, um, one, it not only fosters internal productivity, allows you to reduce your travel, allows you to collaborate more with peers across the globe and truly be a global corporation, but I think even more importantly, it becomes an incredibly effective mechanism to be able to work with your customers and partners more effectively and be able to reach out and really get a chance to be closer in touch with them without having to you know, burn a, a gazillion air miles. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's become really an accepted practice now as a way of conducting business versus just a thing to do if you're in marketing or if you know, you're know you in um, a specific discipline. It's really become very, very broad. Uh, but I do want to say that one of the best examples of this that Cisco has when we use all of it together is in uh, something called Cisco Learning Network, which is really um, the platform that we use to be able to educate our customers, our partners, and really transfer knowledge to people in our technical community and build our technical community um, through the use of social networking tools as well as the video platforms and collaboration platforms such as WebEx. That's great. How is the Cisco Learning Network fostering this type of collaboration? Well, the Cisco Learning Network is um, really a, a platform that we developed that enables um, in our entire community. So we have about a million people out there right now in the technical community that are certified, but we actually have a lot more people than that that are in the networking industry that really need to just stay on top of the trends, they need, need to understand our new products, um, the, the types of services that are available to them, and they um, uh, fully uh, need n not just the um, information, but if you will, um, a way to connect together and be able to provide mutual support, whether that's in you know, designing of a network, whether that's um, understanding how to best um, uh, understand a concept or a technology and apply it properly. And so we really look at the Cisco Learning Network as, as not Cisco's platform, but a platform we developed really for the customers and our partners. And so it re is really their platform to come together, to learn from each other, to mentor each other, and to guide each other really through the process of um, you know, uh, working through the underpinnings of what all this technology means and how to best apply it for the business. So what's new on the Cisco Learning Network today? On, the, on this new um, social, what I call it a, a social learning platform, uh, Cisco Learning Network has a lot of new things. Um, you know, we started off with the basics, which are, you know, some quick learning modules, career advice, um, some you know platforms that allow us to be able to integrate some of our other offerings and our partnerships within it. So all of that was you know sort of the basics. Now what we were doing is we're actually evolving our education portfolio as part of the Cisco Learning Network. So we have online assessments. Um, we have new the new um, CCIE 360 program, which is really a completely different way of. Um, uh, educating yourself to be an expert in networking um, and I think people will find that this is going to be a very compelling offering for them because it's got built-in labs, it's got assessment, it really gives you a prescriptive approach to how you educate yourself in technology and become that expert. Um, so we think that's going to have um, you know a lot of value to our audience and of course we're also doing some pretty innovative things in creating these learning games so that we have people um, uh, being able to learn um, in a fun and different way without the, you know, without all the, um, you know, normal, uh, normal things that you do, just, you know, reading a book or going to a class or whatever. It's just another way of us making learning fun and getting people engaged in the process of learning. So how are things like this new assessment tool or the mindshare game, for instance, changing the face of professional education? Well, we believe that professional education, first of all, has to come first from the standpoint of what a person's goals are and where they want to be. And so the more we can personalize, the more we can help an individual get from here to there by guiding them properly, whether it's through you know, the assessment-led learning or a specific package approach to an education program, um, we think the better off we're going to be 
and and really helping people cross that chasm, right, of reaching their goals. And that's really what we're, you know, what it's all about for us is creating the right talent in the right place at the right time. And the only way to do that is to empower individuals and give them the tools that they need that are specific to them. Um, because not everybody has the same formula. You know, it's it's it, I think it's um, it's old world to think of education as one size fits all for everybody. And um, we want to make sure we provide people the variety they need as well as the community and support systems behind that of the interpersonal relationships that they can develop right as they go on this um, this path of learning and educating themselves and becoming really um, you know proficient in this skill